In this tutorial, we'll start to develop our basic understanding of light and shadow. This is going to be the cornerstone to basic rendering skills. Starting with a cube, we're going to establish a light source. This will be a directional light, like the sun. We're going to start to shade the sides of the cube that are facing away from the sun. The side that's facing the most away from the sun will be the darkest. The side that's facing partially away from the sun will be slightly darker. We'll also use the directional light to establish the direction of our shadow. You can see I'm drawing parallel lines to the sun in order to lay out the shadow. Again, I'm just prioritizing the darkness of those sides. So the side that's facing the most towards the sun is the brightest. The side that's facing the most away from the sun is the darkest. And the side that is partially facing the sun is somewhere in between. So here we'll sketch another cube with a different light source. Perhaps a light source is coming in more from the side, like a sunset. Again, the side facing most away from the sun will be the darkest, but the top surface will become our secondary shadow area. And the side to the right will be the brightest. You can see I've numbered the sides. The first side is the brightest. The third side is the darkest. And the second one is the in-between. So what happens if we start to look at cylinders? Well, the same rules apply. We set up our light source, directional light that's coming from above. Only this time, we create a soft gradation, because this is a round object, from the lightest surface to the darkest surface. So if we were to number this, the top of the cylinder is going to be our number one side. The end of the cylinder will be number two, and the bottom of the cylinder will be number three. Let's draw another cylinder with a slightly different light source. Let's say the light source is coming from behind the viewer and it's lighting up the side of that cylinder. So you might get a shadow area towards the ground, as it points towards the ground, and then it might go back into shadow towards the top of the cylinder, reflecting the sky tone. So there's your one, your two, and your three. And the end of the cylinder will be facing away, so that would be darker as well. Now what about a sphere? So here we're going to establish our light source. And that's going to be our number one surface. And everything will be a soft gradation away from that light source. We're going to slowly build up the shading because we want to maintain those soft transitions that a sphere has. We slowly clean up our drawing. We're going to lay down our shadow. And there's your one your two and your three. You'll see the very bottom of the sphere is actually reflecting a little bit of the ground tone. 
So these are the fundamental basics of rendering shapes and forms. As we begin to draw cars, those shapes and forms become much more complicated, but the basic principles remain the same.